With week one of the books, several teams had a shot at the award. Kenosha Christian Life, one of the candidates, but Milwaukee Riverside is our team of the week, frenzy style. The Tigers are with Rod Burks. It's the way the Riverside Tigers wanted to kick off their season. And that was with an impressive win over the Pewaukee Pirates. For them, it was more than just starting the season at 1-0. This win was a long time coming. We had a lot of fun. It was a pleasure. Beating Pewaukee was the best thing that happened to me all three years. And last year, we lost to them when we should have beat them. So it was like an upset. So this year, it was something to look forward to. We had that chip on our shoulder where we knew we had to come out with the outcome to win. So it was like, it was like we had to. It was like a must. It was a must. We wasn't going home without winning. The Tigers are hoping that win will lead them to a magical season this year. They may be the team to watch. They went undefeated in their division two of the past three seasons, and they're coached by a good one, and head coach Patrick Wagner, who found out a lot about his team after week one. We still got to pick up a lot of things as far as cleaning up our execution on offense. Um, we had a lot of heart, though, as far as we had a handful of kids hurt throughout the scrimmage, and we lost two during the game. And the kids who hadn't been playing much got in, stepped up, and really had made some plays for us, big plays for us that allowed us to win. On the offensive side of the ball, the Tigers are led by Emil Jackson, who was the Richardson Offensive Player of the Year last season, rushing for 695 yards and 12 touchdowns. The offense, we has been very consistent this year, and that's what I like about us. Uh, you know, we got a lot of players stepping up as well, so that'll be good, and we can be very special this year as well. And our team of the week, the Riverside Tigers! 